Conference Award being presented by President Charles Samuels goes to Carol McHugh of Richmond's Juvenile and Domestic Relations Court, the Dispute Resolution Office, and it is to recognize March 2013 as Richmond Mediation Month. All the members of Richmond City Council hereby unite to recognize, honor, and celebrate the importance of mediation. The year 2013 marks the 20th anniversary of the passage of the Dispute Resolution Proceeding State Statute in Virginia, which plays an important role in institutionalizing the use of mediation in Virginia courts of law. The Code of Virginia defines mediation as a process in which a neutral facilitates communication between the parties and without deciding the issue or imposing a solution on the parties, enables them to understand and reach mutual agreement resolution to their dispute. Mediation is a valuable service not only to litigants but also to courts. A national research indicates mediation cases are less likely to return to court, and if they do, there is less conflict in subsequent quick cases. Also, mediation may exist in simultaneously resolving multiple related petitions before a court. Thus, it is believed tangible cost savings are realized in terms of judicial time and resources when, medi when mediation is used. In order to recognize the importance of dispute resolution and mediation, Richmond City Council does hereby proclaim the month of March 2013 as Richmond Mediation Month and call this observance to the attention of all our residents. Thank you very much, Madam Clerk. Uh, Mr. Peter, for those of you who don't know, was actually my mediation teacher when I was in school and wanted to learn a different skill and try to fix fighting for a position. Let's find a solution that works for everybody. And I have to say that in my time on council, whether it's with constituents or my colleagues, there are skills I use every day. Mr. Peter has the added benefit of being the dispute resolution coordinator for the City of Richmond's Juvenile and Domestic Relations it's one thing when you can find an agreement so you're fighting your own mind. But when you're fighting about children, you're arguing what you think is best for a child and what somebody else thinks is best for a child, working together for the child is always, always better than just being it out. I want to thank her for the time she has spent dedicating her professional career to this. And if you'd like to say anything, please. I'd like to thank um, President Daniel and the Council for your support of our program at the board. Next, we have a recognition of what being presented by Councilman Bolland. In the work being presented to Bertha Burke. The honorable members of Richmond City Council hereby unite to recognize and celebrate Mr. and Mrs. Milton and Bertha Burke on the official establishment and naming of their honor of Bertha's Country Lane for the alley located behind their home at 100 North Belmont Avenue in Richmond's Historic Museum District neighborhood. Ms. Burke began beautifying the outdoor landscape around her home by planting roses, bushes, and other flowers in her yard and in the alley running beside the house. Over the years, the slender of the alley grew into an urban garden masterpiece due to her kind attention and consistent loving care. Ms. Burke's outstanding dedication to creating and maintaining the community treasure has created many admirers and earned her the appreciation of her entire neighborhood. Richmond City Council hereby recognizes and celebrates the works on the official establishment and name in their honor of Bertha's Country Lane for the alley located beside their home at 100 North Belmont Avenue in Richmond's Historic Museum District neighborhood and brings it to the attention of the entire Richmond community. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Thank you, Madam Clerk. Um, about 15 years ago, I moved in behind Bertha and Milton's house, and the neighbors were very welcoming and friendly, and they welcomed me to the neighborhood. How are you doing? Uh, have you met Milton and Bertha? Uh, you need to meet them. They are the royalty of our corner of our neighborhood. <laughs> and, and this alley is the reason why. Um, Bertha moved into this alley, or into this house in 1945, and in 
1954, when they still redid roofs with pea gravel, uh, they dumped an extra load in the alley, and the roofer didn't want to haul it away, so she said, I'll take it. And she began constructing the alley that you see, and started planting it with grass seed. And uh, this side was installed on Friday. Um, over the years, everybody's known that this is Bertha's Alley. One time in the 1980s, the crew came in and started tearing it up. They didn't, I guess it was a new person, they didn't realize what was happening. And she went out and stopped them and said, You can't go any further. And they called the supervisor in, and Bertha said, You can't touch with this alley. And the public works crew left, and the next day the supervisor delivered that grab seat to Bertha so she could replant the grab shirt in the meeting. And since then, it's been maintained. Um, with wisteria and flowers, all the neighbors have contributed over the years. It's been it's been a really great addition to our neighborhood. And the reason why this is here, this house is here, this alley is here, is even more poignant. Milton's father was a sergeant of the Richmond Police Force. Excuse me, his name is James Burke. He was still in the line of duty in 1925. The police force at the time, with friends and neighbors, took up a collection and purchased a house for Milton and his mother. Milton at the time was five months old. And they have lived there ever since. Milton, unfortunately, passed away just last summer. And the, the Burks have been the, the influence on our neighborhood ever since. Uh, as a tribute to why this alley is here and why we're lucky as neighbors in the neighborhood, Chief Karasovic of the Richmond Police Department has graciously, uh, as part of this presentation, offered uh, this framed photograph for Bertha and her family of Milton's father. Uh, this is the picture that hangs on the wall in honor of the police department and at the police academy, along with the other fall officers of the city of Richmond. So I just want Presented both this award and this spring photograph to Bertha and her son Ted and the rest of her family and neighbors that are here tonight. Congratulations.